The A2000 was important to me that uh, I wanted to have all movements COSC certified. So that's the big difference from the A2000 to the, uh, from the A1000 to the A2000. Then I wanted to go up from 3 Hz to 4 Hz. And for me it was important that it's a platform for all future developments. So I wanted to use also the complications from the A1000 family, which are adaptable to the A2000, but then also further developments such as a perpetual annual calendar, a tourbillon, are all possible on that basis and that was very important. And then the whole industrialization process is completely different. So uh, I'm very proud and happy to say that our people uh, in San Juan Langner, they made a fantastic job. They were working the last three and a half years on that project and that uh, on the cost side we are on a very, very interesting level. The biggest hurdle was um, with all my expectation to this movement to keep the brand's DNA. You know, we have the Perifer Rotor, which is quite unique in the industry. We have been most probably the first brand successfully industrialized uh, that type of movements. So to keep the DNA and to keep the typical uh, view on the back of this movement, but to bring it up with more classical style. Because for me, it was very important, as you know, the Monero collection is a very important collection for me. I was working very hard on that whole collection the last few years, so it was important that the A2000 fits perfectly there. So we find a very nice way still to have the DNA, peripheral rotor, very technical, innovative movement. But for example, on the decoration side, we then go to the Geneva stripes. So uh, that was not easy. But uh, I'm very happy that uh, we succeeded to balance this out.